Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you about repeaters. Now a repeater, and these are often called extenders, they are a really simple device. All they do is they take a weak signal and they boost it so it can travel further. Now I'll tell you guys a story and this is actually a true story. My mom, she lives in a really long house. So there's their house, as you can see it's really long. Alright, so there is their beautiful looking house. Now, whenever they got internet, what the guy did, whenever he came, for some reason, he took their wireless router and he hooked it up on one end of their house. So here is the router. Let me label it. And they never use any wired devices. They're always on their phones, tablets, whatever. So everyone living in this house is only using this as a wireless access point. Now here is the funny thing about wireless technology. Whenever you're standing really close to the access point to this router, the signal is really strong. Now just like a sound wave, the further away you get, the signal gets weaker and weaker. Now what that means is that anyone standing close to the router is going to be real happy. Look at this guy's face. He's like the happiest dude on earth. Now, anyone who has a bedroom on this end of the house, every night when they're trying to watch Netflix and go to bed, look at this girl. She is not too happy. Now, my artwork may not be expert quality, but you get the idea. So, how do we solve this problem and how do we make this signal appropriate for every single person in the house? Well, we have a couple solutions. The first thing that we can do is we can actually take this router and we can reposition it to the center of the house. And that way the entire signal is distributed evenly. Now, this may not be practical for a couple reasons. Let's say that the center of the house, I don't know, maybe it was like some big garage or maybe it was unfinished or for whatever reason, you were unable to move this router to the center of the house. So, what you could do instead is you can use a repeater. Now a repeater looks like a little thing with antennas that you plug into any outlet in the wall. And let me label this too. So this is a wireless repeater. You would go on Amazon, buy it, and plug it in to the center of the house. Now again, like I said, what this does is it takes a signal, a weak Wi-Fi signal, and it boosts it. In other words, it rebroadcasts it to give it some more strength and now this person is actually happy so that's all a repeater does and it's the same thing with ethernet now whenever you're using ethernet let me just draw you know some kind of quick demonstration down here say that you had another router that had an ethernet cable coming from it now whenever you use ethernet the max length that you should use is 100 meters now say that you had a computer down here and this is just you know a normal PC there's a screen this is you know the tower or whatever now the reason that you can only use 100 meters I believe that's what it is I'd have to double check is because once your Ethernet cable gets longer than this then the signal gets really weak and you might have problems let's say if your cable was 200 meters long then you might have problems receiving and sending data to the router so instead what you could get is a wired or ethernet repeater and all this would do is essentially the same thing whenever your signal was weak in that wire it would take it and boost it so it could travel the rest of the way now to show you guys what these look like in real life alright so this is the most popular repeater and this is actually like I said they're sometimes called extenders what you would do is you would take this, plug it into the center of your house or wherever your signal is weak, and as you can see, what it does is it boosts it and pretty much allows everyone in your house to have a nice, strong connection to the internet. And just to show you guys one other one, this is an Ethernet repeater or amplifier or booster or extender. Why don't they just stick with one name? I don't know. Kind of annoys me. But as you can see alright so this would be for the power right there this would be for the incoming ethernet cord from your router 
And on the other side, that would be for the other cable. So just think of it like a connector. Whenever your Ethernet cable is too long and the signal is too weak, it can connect two cables to make the signal nice and strong. And also, one other last thing I want to point out, switches and routers, they also act as repeaters. So if you had a switch right here, and let's say you're just using this as a normal switch to connect a bunch of different devices you don't have to have like a switch and then a repeater right next to it a switch is a natural repeater it takes a signal and it sends it out and it's nice and strong again whenever it sends it back out so again don't buy you know a repeater and a switch if you only need one or the other so again there you go Congratulations, we now know about modems, routers, switches, repeaters, and now what I'm going to do is I want to start talking to you about wireless technology. It's going to be awesome. See you next video.